Welcome back. Hey, I just got this, uh, just got this in the mail from Amazon. These are bolt-on, by the way, bolt-on. You had the option of, uh, getting it in, getting it in orange. Look at this. They gave you a little, looks like a little magnet. Um, here's some bolt, but I have a question for you guys, but I have a question for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, maybe I, oh man. I know uh, a lot of people well, I know some people get theirs welded on, or they weld them on themselves. I don't have the ability to do that. So I got to bolt mine on. And I thought this would become handy having hooks on the bucket. On the front FEL. But I, uh... I'm not too sure where you put it, but let me uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So let me see here. So I'm not too sure where you put these on the bucket. Do you put this? You put this on the front. Yeah. You're supposed to put this on the front of the bucket. For some reason, I was thinking that you put them in the back, but you definitely don't do that. I'm drawing a complete blank of where these things go. Where I'm going to mount those, and it came with a set of two, you see there, it came with a set of two. So I'm not too sure if I should add two of them to the bucket or just add one right in the center but I'm not sure where it goes I'm not sure what size bolts these things are and I don't really know if I should be bolting this thing on my bucket I, I want to see what your thoughts can you guys comment down below let me know what your thoughts about putting on a bolt on hook and if any uh, any advice or any tips or tricks that you guys can send my way comment down below so I can decide what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna bolt this thing on that's the bolt I said like I said that, that these these things come in a couple of different colors they had orange uh, but I was afraid that it wasn't going to match the uh, Kubota orange. So I got the black because black and orange goes together great. So having a couple of uh, black hooks on the bucket might look kind of cool. <laughs> so I think I'm going to put that project off for another day because I'm really going to look forward to some of your comments to let me know where these things go. I'm going to look it online. I'm going to do some more research to find out where these actually go on the bucket because I'm completely drawing a blank right now. You know, when I go to post this video, I'll probably know by then, but <laughs> but anyways, comment, uh, comment down below and let me know uh, what you uh, what you think about these bolt-on uh, hooks. We actually got to take a, a quick break.
All right, now I'm back. It's been raining here. I got these, uh, I got this one and this one cut down. And that's all the wood over there. So I can't wait to, uh, to process that wood. I really do enjoy uh, wood splitting. It's uh, really fun to do. Never thought I would ever enjoy it so much, but I do. Kind of need your help with this one. What I was thinking about doing is setting a couple of straps. I was thinking about setting a strap here in this corner and a strap over here, some ratchet straps, and see if I can meet them in the middle and then pull out and hook the uh, the strap to the front of the tractor on the bucket and see if I can lift the front end up lift the front end up of this portable garage and see if I can drag it out of here by pulling on some straps and see if I can drag it out to the yard so I can get that thing moved so uh, you know, if you can share me what your thoughts of moving this thing when you don't have any help. <laughs> if you got to move this by yourself, how would you do it? So that would be extremely helpful if you let me know how you guys would do that. And then the next step is I got to get rid of this birch tree, that birch tree, and all these other... I think that's a maple. Uh, I got a cherry tree. Cherry tree right there. And I gotta take down those two other. So I got, I probably got about a dozen, 12 or more trees to take out. And then uh, I think I'm gonna rent a mini excavator. Look at this pile of stuff. I gotta clean up this whole area. <sighs> so yeah, so that's my plan. So. So right now, uh, two brush piles that I want to move this evening. Um, we've been, uh, they've been talking that we're having a drought around here, even though right now it's raining, but um, they won't let us burn anymore for a while, well, at least to further notice. And uh, so I've been taking the brush piles and putting them out here in the woods. Which won't be bad. I didn't really want to do that. I really want to burn them. But, and it might work out fine there. Because uh, where we're going to put the fire pit and everything. Will be in this general area. So we can probably pick at it. Over time. And uh, that'll be it. You know. Alright. Let, uh, let me start moving some of this pile of stuff.
I smacked into the tree. that's all I got for you guys today thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one peace